Now, he has a reputation for being a nice man, though his colleague John Cleese will jokingly tell you different. Michael Palin has enjoyed more than half a century in the spotlight. He's been a successful writer, actor and presenter in film and television. Now his career is the subject of a documentary made in association with BAFTA. Wendy Hurrell has been speaking to him. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. But prolonged questioning is expected when promoting a new documentary. Michael Palin dashed around New Broadcasting House this morning, straight from Radio 4 to us. Me talking about me talking about myself. <laughs> <It's> just, uh, <laughs> absolutely overindulgence. There's a danger, I think, in these sort of programmes that they... They sound a bit like obituaries, you know. <laughs> it's your life in, in, on screen, I think it's called. Well, you know, I'm still alive and hoping to carry on. It's a bit like getting lifetime awards, which I've had one from, very nice one from BAFTA. Um, but that's it. You'd never get a second lifetime award. <laughs> no. Anything so you do from next, now on. Anything you do from now on. Irrelevant. Sort of, no, Michael, that's just that spoiling the picture. Stop it. Stop working. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop working because I don't know what else I'd do. Did you say... The comedy writing and performances came first, perhaps Monty Python, the pinnacle. Often the scripts were bashed out in West London. We were given a second series that no one quite expected and we went to act in um, the rehearsal rooms and there's a woman sort of cleaning her step and she says, oh, not you lot, are you doing some more? I said, yes, we are. So, oh, dear. And it's in the capital that Michael Palin has lived the majority of his life. I like, in a sense, the size and scale of London because you can be absorbed into it. It's not like living in a small village where everyone's watching and you're the central figure. And, and um, So I quite like that ability to lose yourself in London. Or lose yourself at sea. Part of the documentary features Michael Palin's travel programmes, a topic his old Python mate, John Cleese, still playfully jibes him about. Whenever he talks about my travel documentaries, he always goes, Michael, oh, oh, oh. he does that. and. I mean, I, I wish he didn't, but it does make me roar with laughter every time he does it. Is there one particular thing you're most proud of? Yes. It's the way I fell into the lock after being hit by a fish by John Cleese in the fish lapping dance. And it's a rather good fall. If you freeze frame it, it's a nice diagonal. I'm keeping my pith helmet on, the boots are in order. It's a very military fall. <laughs> Looks like it's part of the ritual. we well, falling by numbers, one, into the canal. <laughs> I'm going to check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, can then you can reverse it, which is actually rather lovely too. Yes, that's quite balletic. Michael Palin made a TV entrance in the 60s. And whether as a writer, actor or presenter, he's not finished yet. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.